Luma, Runway, Minimax or Kling AI? Which one has your preference? I get that question quite a lot when people ask me what the best AI video generator is. And the answer is, well, it depends. It depends on a lot of different factors. For example, if you want to have speed, then Luma might be your best bet. But if you want to have good quality prompt coherence, then it might be Minimax. But if you want to have the highest resolution, then it is clean. You see, each of these tools have their own strengths. But having multiple subscriptions so you get access to all of them can be quite expensive. But what if you don't have to choose between them? What if there was one tool that can do it all? That one tool might be Freepik AI. They have just launched their all-in-one AI video generator that combines all of these models and you can generate your videos simultaneously through them. So that means you put in one prompt and then it will generate through Luma, Bunway, Minimax and Kling all at once. And then you can choose which one you like the most. And the best thing is, unlike all the other AI video generator, this one will cost you 12 bucks per month. And I'm not even talking about the AI image generator with Flux that's also integrated within the platform. So I can talk about this forever, but let me just show you an example of a video that I made using Freepik. That night I got struck by lightning, and yes, that did hurt a lot. But when I woke up that morning and looked over the horizon, I thought I was saved. The island gave me everything I need, but yet I still felt lonely. Until one night, when I saw a light in the distance, From that moment, I discovered that I'm not the only one. Now that entire video was generated using Freepik. So what I did is I used the LoRas to train my own character through AI images. Then I made my own AI images through the image generator. Then I turned those images into video. And then I combined everything, edited it, chose a tune to put underneath there, and then I got my video. So in this video, I will show you exactly how you can do all of this to make your own AI generated video. Now, if you want to try this out yourself, then I will leave a discount code in the description down below where the first 100 people get free access to Freepik Premium. Let me show you how it works. So first you go to freepik.com. Then once you're at that website, you have to log in and then you click on generate AI video. Now here we have the AI video generation tab. So the way it works is we can describe our video right here. So let me just actually get a prompt and I will put that in there. So my prompts will be a golden retriever running through a field of flowers. Then you see you have the AI prompt feature and this will enhance your prompts through Freepik. Now, if you don't want to use that, then you can just toggle it off but I like to keep it on. Now, next up, we have the mode. And for this, you basically can select which model you want to use for your video generation. Now, right off the bat, they most of the times use Luma because that's the fastest, but you can also cycle between Runway, Mochi, and for the ones that don't know Mochi, Mochi is a open source AI video generation model that is very good with prompt adherence. So that means it follows your prompt perfectly. And then also it has a high fidelity motion. So that means that you get like 30 FPS on your video. So if you want to use that, then you can try this one. And then lastly, we have Minimax. Kling unfortunately is not available right now, but it will be soon. So by the time this video might be out, it might be available. And also you have the feature to use all of them. And this is a very strong feature because let's say you have your perfect prompt crafted, then you put it into your video generator and then the video is dog shit. Now, the way you can prevent this is if you use all of the models at the same time and then you can choose which one you like the most. Now, doing this will cost you a bit more credits, but the results might be worth it. Before you generate your video, make sure to select your favorite aspect ratio. So for me, that will be 16 by nine. And then you click on generate video. Now, as you can see for Minimax, it takes around five to 10 minutes. Mochi is three minutes. Runway is about two to three minutes and Luma is the fastest with one minute. Now, as you can see, each of these AI video generators 
generates a slightly different video based on your prompt. So all you have to do is you just have to select the one you like the most. For example, one might give you a really high quality video while the other one is pretty bad. So you can just choose your favorite one. Another cool feature that you can do is while you're typing in your prompt, some people like to add in like a prompt saying the camera is moving that way. You could also choose effects and then you can choose what kind of camera movement or what kind of effect you want to add to your video. So if you just want to keep it static like this, if you want to have it move to the left, if you want to have it move up, you can also do like pan left or pan right. One that I like a lot is orbit left or orbit right. That will give you some pretty cool videos. And also I like the crane ones. So this is also pretty good. To give you an example what this might look like, I will do this one. And now when I generate my video, let me just use Luma for this and I'll click generate. Now here you can see the result of this, it looks pretty cool. If you want to have more control over the videos that you produce, then I would suggest using the image to video generation. I did that for my entire video, as you can see right here, this makes up for some pretty good video generation. This one, for example, was also pretty good. It glitches a little bit in the end, but still it is very usable. So the way the image generator works is we just type in a prompt here, then we choose a model and we can choose between Mystic, Flux or Classic. So for Flux, I'm gonna go with Flux 1.1, which is the best one. And then you can also add in a style. So if you want to have like a photo, an illustration, 3D, cartoon, surreal, let's go with surreal for this one. Then you can choose some effects if you want to have, for example, a wide shot, a mid shot, a low angle. You can be very specific with this. And then later on, I'm gonna show you how you can train your own character. But now let's hit generate. And then we have our image right here. Now what you can do is you click on reuse and then you can click on video. And now it is our first frame on our video. And it will also automatically describe what our image looks like. So we can see a serene otherworldly landscape featuring a lone astronaut walking through a pink hued valley. As you can see, it's quite descriptive. So you could either change this or you can keep it like this. Let's say you want to add in a specific motion or anything like that. You can change that in your prompt right there. Now let's hit generate. And this is the video that it makes. If you want to create a story with consistent characters, then you need to train a Laura. And the way this works is as followed. So first we go to images. Then we go to character and then here you can see the characters they already have made. So these ones have been made by Freepik. These ones have been made by me. The way it works is you click on new character, then you give it a name, you select the gender and then you upload the most amount of pictures that you have. For example, they recommend like 12 to 24 images or maybe even 5 to 25 to get the best result. Now, I did that with one of my characters right here. So I have this character, Jake, and I trained it, if we click on edit, I train it with all of these different pictures. And I choose high for it because high will give you better quality and balanced speed. And it's ideal for different styles. Then I use Jake to make my images. So if I scroll back on my account, I will actually show you. So here you can see all of the prompts that I did to make my images. I actually created a storyboard with this. And let me just show you, I have my storyboard right here. I have an image of Jake sitting on the raft, then he's floating there, then he's sitting like this. Then, yeah, you see all of these images, that's what I would suggest you to do. Write out your story, write out your prompts with that, then generate your images. And then once you have the image you like, because with this, there are also a few images that won't work, then you download the ones you like, and then you turn them into videos. And that's what I started doing right here. So here you can see like a man walking. You can see like a man standing on the beach. This one didn't quite work. So I tried it again, again. And that's essentially how you get your video. Once you gathered all the videos from your story, then you put them into your favorite editor. I, for this, use CapCut because it's just free. And then you insert all of your videos. And then all you need to have is a voiceover and some music. Now, the great thing about Freepik is it has all of that. If we go to Freepik and then we click on tools, then we click on explore AI suit, then you can see right here, it also has an AI voice generator. 
Now, if we click on run, we can get some pretty cool voices. So one voice that I really like that I have never heard anywhere else is this one. Strength and courage guide you through every climb. That's such a deep voice. So now you can just type in your text and you can just say anything you want. For example, subscribe to Dan. And now you have your own AI voice. So download this, put this in your editor, and then all we need is to have some music. So for this, we go to free pick tunes. And with that, if you have free pick, you can download any audio that you'd like. It's copyright free and you can just use it in your video. Now, if you want to try this out for free, then the first 100 people that use the code that's on the screen right now will get free access to FreePick Premium. If you want to see more videos where I generate stuff with AI, then click the video that's on the screen right now. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.